Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, I got a couple questions who are running back to back. Okay. Ma marathons. Yep. Three weeks, right? Ish. Summer six, summer three. Okay. Uh, six is easier than three, kind of. That's... Well, is it doable? Are, is it doable? Absolutely. I just. Will had... you have fun? Probably not. I had three a girl. Weekers. She. She wrote me about doing Big Sur and then doing. Uh, I forget which race, five weeks later to, to BQ. And she was really worried that Big Sur was just going to cripple her. And she didn't know how to tone it down so that she could do both. And we did. And she did. And we were successful. Um, Last year I did Berlin and New York, and it was more than enough time. And I did a half marathon in between just to keep tune this up. And I just, I yogged it. Didn't go slow, didn't go fast. Just comfortably ran, no watch, no nothing. And it was great. Man. It's doable. It's absolutely doable. You just have to, you have to be able to scale it. So, you know, which one's A, which one's B? You know, if A's coming first, then B, really you can rest every single day all the way up until you do B. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Everything's still going to be there. Yeah, I spun a lot going um, between them. No, I'm saying you don't even have to do that. I did because I felt like I needed to. Okay, well that's... Because I was eating like a Thanksgiving bowl every day. Well, you have to refuel. <laughs> There's a lot that goes away in the marathon. Do you recommend heel to toe center, tr center strike or ball of foot running? Just Google Meb. You want to see Meb's running form? He heel strikes like a madman. You know, but he can. He's like light as a feather. Um, preferred, mid to four. So either one of those two is great. Heel. Problem with the heel is that most people, if you... There are people who can go heel to toe all the way. It's not everybody though. Like the drills that we went over are, are, are mid, a mid great to idea if you're worried about your gait. Yeah. Click this link <laughs> and do them every day. It takes five minutes. I don't know how to breathe when I run. What do you suggest? Which is a great question because I feel like Growing up, people told me that I need to breathe in through my nose for three seconds and out through my mouth for like five, and I cannot do that. <laughs> okay, and my, so I don't. <laughs> oh, well, my, my, uh, my track coach in high school told me if you can't breathe through your nose and your mouth simultaneously, then you can go pick another sport. What? Um, I can't even do that. It's Sorry. a distraction. It gets you thinking about that more than your legs. Oh, just like when you tell me to worry about my arms. Yes, exactly. Stop thinking about your legs. They'll take care of itself. Um, breathing. Okay, so here's one of the things. And this is what, this is kind of why I'm a bit anti-headphone. Try and sync up your breathing with your footfall. There's a rhythm to everything. So, you know, what we, what you can do is start to see how many, how many strides it is per inhale and exhale at different speeds. And then you can start to have a little bit more control. You know, four four per inhale, four per exhale. You know, four, yeah, for easy runs, like four in and four out, three in and three out as you're going a little faster, two in and two out is usually what I try and race at. And it's how I kind of center myself. Like if, I'm, if I climb a big hill and I know that I'm burning it out and I'm going on pretty much one to one all the way up, like basically sounding like a hyperventilating, but I'm just trying to get as much oxygen to my legs as I can and in my body so that I can keep pumping away without dying out um, but playing with the rhythm of your feet with the rhythm of your breathing is really really helpful it's it, it's a little bit of a trick to try and get control when you feel out of control when you when you do a hard section of a race and all of a sudden you're panning out of control uh, you can use this stuff to help you ground yourself out and you know find that balance again two in two out it, it, rhythmically you'll just it, it makes things a little bit easier all right you guys that's not all your questions and i'm so sorry but we will do more we'll do more we'll do and this I again will get to some just let me know what you're going to get to <laughs>